Hey guys, it is Arika Misha in the kitchen doing what I do. And today we're gonna to be cooking a quick, easy meal. We'll be cooking the bourbon inspired flavored marinated boneless skinless chicken thighs. I got this from Publix. Uh, I thought I was showing y'all. <laughs> anyway, all right, so today we'll be cooking. Now this is what I got out of the uh, Publix. You know what in the back back there where the meat is, however your store is uh, set up. But this is why you know how Publix have like those little meal prep vi uh, meals all ready for you. All ready for you already. Yes. This is where I got this from. And it was only like eight bucks. Yeah, it was $8.99. Y'all see, store price $8.99. So anyway, um, if you looked at my previous vlog, you'll see that I did the um, other style chicken. It is the gochujang chicken. I will try to remember to leave that video link at the end of this video. Or in the description I will try to remember to leave that um, video linked but anyway so they have the bourbon chicken the gochujang chicken they've got a cherry something like that I'll put it at the bottom here so you guys can see but Publix has you know several flavors and this is a boneless skinless um, breast chicken so already got the bourbon flavors everything on there for you all you gotta do is cook it I'm showing y'all quick easy meals because y'all know I get y'all in and out of the kitchen so we got the bourbon chicken and my Mahatma yellow rice y'all know I've tried all those other rice I, I do have a couple other yellow rices to try but the Mahatma yellow rice is my favorite I love it it's seasoned really good flavor is great I just love it y'all anyway let's get into it I got my water over here boiling three and a half cups of water uh, let me take you guys over Three and a half cups of water over here. Um, uh, I put one teaspoon of oil, vegetable oil in there. So, let me get this cup open. Get it poured in. All right. Let me bring y'all over so y'all can see how the Mahatma rice is. You see that seasoning? That yellow seasoning in the right there is like all the flavoring and everything and you just stir it I've got it on a medium high heat I just stir it up real good until the flavoring is all mixed in uh, let me move this fork I do not think so because y'all know good and well I do not want to scratch up my pots yeah I don't know how that fork got in the picture, but anyway, yeah, got my my little Dollar Tree spoon here. Y'all want to know where I got that from? So good for cooking when you want to scrape up your pots and your pans. All right, so I'm gonna get stirring that up real good. And the thing about the Mahatma yellow rice that I love, I don't have to add any salt, any flavor. Like it's already got all that. You ain't gotta do nothing with the Mahatma yellow rice. And it's quick and easy and cooks in like 15, 20 minutes. So, that's going to be boiling soon. I'll go ahead and get that heat down. And let me put my timer on. Um, yep, 20 minutes. Let me put that timer on. 20 minutes. And then my hot yellow rice will be done. So, that's the Mahatma yellow rice, quick and easy. That's gonna be done by the time we get through cooking this chicken over here. All right, and in my pan, I have just a little bit of vegetable oil in there. Let me zoom y'all in a little bit. Let me get my heat on over here. I'm gonna be cooking this chicken at a medium, cause it's chicken breast. It's not that real thick, thick chicken breast. You guys will see that. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna cook it at a medium high heat because the skinless boneless chicken cooks really, really fast. So you guys see, good. Let me go ahead and get my chicken cut open. This is a really good flavorful meal. I mean, the chicken flavoring, I've never cooked this bourbon one, but I've cooked, like I said, the other ones. Um, and the chicken has so much flavor. I didn't have to add nothing, cause y'all know I will add some seasoning real quick if it don't taste right. 
but I didn't have to add anything to the other one I cooked so I'm hoping I don't have to have to add anything to this bourbon chicken so hope it's good let me get it cut open here because I know that oil is getting hot okay get this cut open and like I said this is a quick and easy meal you can make this meal in 20 minutes because I mean the rice is gonna take 20 minutes so you can be cooking the chicken you know you can be cooking the chicken while that rice is cooking that's what I'm gonna be showing y'all because it's what I do quick easy meals that taste like you've been in the kitchen all day you know and you know honestly we don't have all day to be in the kitchen we don't we, we really don't sometimes we can you know sometimes we can you know that Sunday morning uh, dinner y'all know how that goes Sundays we in the kitchen in a little while but sometimes I like to cook cook meals on Sundays too you know all right so looks like our oil is hot let me make sure I got this on a medium I don't want to have it too hot but our oil is hot so let's go ahead and get the chicken pulled out Yeah, our oil is nice and hot. Let me make sure I got the chicken all open. Because they packed the chicken in there, so. Let me make sure I got it open. Okay. That looks good. Alright, I'm going to put that over here. Let me turn this around. Alright, let me get our next chicken breast out. Okay. Looking good, okay. All right, we got another big piece in here, looks like. And I'm starting cooking it with the fat side up. Okay. And I got another little piece in here and it smells really good. It smells really good. Wanna make sure I got my chicken all the way open. I've got another little piece in here. Go ahead and get that pulled out. Make sure I got all my flavoring in there. Okay, and I'll just put that in the middle. Cause it's gonna shrink a little bit once it starts cooking. Let me turn this piece around. Okay. Alright. I just make sure I got it all smashed down and opened up. Okay. Alright. It smells delicious. It smells really good. Quick, easy meal. Just gonna let it sit there and cook on that side first. Checking on my rice here real quick. I'm gonna get my rice stirred up one more time. Quick, easy meal. And I'm telling you, it's gonna taste like you've been cooking all day. But we haven't. Rice all stirred up. All right, cleaning my stove off as I go. All right, okay. Doesn't that look delicious? I'm gonna zoom y'all in so y'all get the full effect. Zooming y'all into that goodness. Oh yeah. And all you need is just a little bit of oil. You don't need a lot of oil, you know? Just enough to help you brown and cook it. That's it. Don't wanna do too much oil. I use the vegetable oil um, instead of the other oil. Sometimes I'll get canola. Just depends who's on, who's the cheapest. Y'all know how that go. But I prefer the vegetable oil, you know? Vegetable oil, you know? Healthier oil. Made from vegetables. Okay. That's just what I've convinced myself, that the vegetable oil is healthier because it's made from vegetables. But yeah. All right, we got that going. And one thing about this chicken, it's, it's not, you know, does not take too long to cook. 
I just take a little peek under there. See how it's gotten brown already? Just flip it over. Look at that. Nice golden brown chicken. Make sure your chicken gets flipped over all the way. Okay, a little piece. Now, now that's going to be a little taste testing piece right there. Look at that. Oh yeah, that's going to be our little taste testing piece. Let's flip this big piece over right here. Okay, looking good. Put that little, that piece right there over. Okay, okay. We are looking good. Looking real good. Make sure all your chicken is flat, you know. And just make, you know, I'll just smash it a little bit. Make sure it's getting cooked real good inside. Smells really good. Smells really good, guys. Smells so good. Yes. That smells delicious. And just think about it. All you gotta do, once your chicken is done, all you gotta do is just lay your um, yellow rice down and put that bourbon chicken on top of it. Oh my goodness. Let me take y'all in a little bit more so y'all understand what we are working with. Look at that. I'm gonna allow that other side to get a little bit browner. I do want a little crisp to it. So I'm gonna let that other side brown. And then I'm going to flip it back over one more time so this side that we're looking at can get all nice and brown and crispy. Mm. Imagine that. Bourbon chicken laid over that yellow rice. Smells so good. And they marinate it in the chicken. So the flavors go all the way through the chicken. I'm telling you that go-to chong that I cooked was amazing. It was delicious. Now one thing about the go-to chong, it's, um, it is a spicy uh, pepper kind of seasoning that they put on the chicken. It had a little spice, not a lot. Just a little spice, just enough. So, all right, let's see what we got going on. Okay, go ahead and flip it again. It cooks real quick, guys. Cooks real quick. All right, let's flip everybody again. Flip our little taste testing piece there. Ooh. Okay. Oh, this looking real good. Okay. All right. Make sure. Make sure you're smashing it down. Make sure your chicken getting cooked. Uh oh, got the little oil over there. Okay, cut my stand on a little bit. But yeah, quick and easy. Quick and easy. Looks really good. Oh, so good. Mm, mm, mm. The whole house smells so good, guys. Smells so good. Ooh, yummy, yummy. Okay. Think we need to flip it one more time. Oh yeah, looking so good. That's looking so good. Oh, look at that taste testing piece. Mm-hmm. Quick and easy. And you know, this is something that you can grab on your way home, you know? I'm gonna flip that back over. Put that piece back over. Okay. 
Okay. Go ahead and flip it over. I didn't flip this piece over yet. Cut my heat down a little bit. So it can just slowly finish browning on each side, you know. Oh, that looks good. Oh, ow. Trying to burn me. I don't think so. Okay. All right, so I got that piece flipped over. Looks good. Let's get this flipped over. This is our last flip. Gotta make sure that's cooked. I'm gonna flip this piece over. Needs to cook a little more. Yummy. Mm. When I tell y'all it smells so good, it smells so good. Uh, it reminds me of when I get bourbon chicken from the um, Chinese restaurant. Let me... Okay, let me fix you guys so y'all can really see the goodness. Oh, so good. And I just cut my heat down, you know, so it can slowly finish cooking. All right, it's looking good over here. Okay, I think it's time to taste our taste testing piece. Let me show y'all how that is looking. Ooh, looks so good. Look at that. Bring it in for y'all. Oh, so good. Let me taste it. It's hot now, y'all. Ooh. Hot, hot, hot. Ooh, that tastes so good. Mmm. It tastes better than the bourbon chicken at the Chinese restaurant. Oh my goodness. Yes, it does. It does. Mmm. That is so good. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So good, y'all. Oh my goodness. Because that bourbon flavor has marinated all the way down to the meat. Oh my God. That is so good. I'm telling y'all. I'm going to be getting these all the time now. I'm going to be getting these all the time. Definitely going to be a family favorite. Okay, well, that's it for the chicken. The chicken is done. Chicken is done. Let me cut that heat off, the chicken, because it's done. Let's check out our rice. Rice looking good over here. Okay. All right. Okay. So y'all see the chicken? The chicken is all done. Oh, this video is at 18 minutes. Ah! All right, y'all. It was worth it. It was worth it. Let me take y'all into that chicken. It was worth it. Look at that goodness. Y'all saw it cook from the beginning to the end. And of course, I'll pour that rest of that oil out. But you know, the chicken and the flavors make their own oil too. So, yep. It tastes so good, y'all. And let's go over here to our rice. The rice still a little wet. So, we got to cook it a little bit more. It still has four minutes on the timer anyway. So, I'll finish four minutes on that rice and it will be done. All right. Okay, all right guys. That's it, that's all. Y'all seen me do it, so you know I did it. This is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching guys. Don't forget to go in the description box, click on that link to my second channel guys, my spiritual journey over there guys. This is Arika Misha. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube of course. Thanks guys, God bless.